everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I am going to do the birthday book tag since it's my birthday. Um, I've seen a couple of my friends do this. Um, Hannah from Buggy Reads and Lee from Dark Roots Creations and I uh, found the questions from the bibliophilegirluk.com where I seen it linked on somebody else's. I do not know exactly who originated this uh, book tag, but I will put my friends links down before down below and I will link this where I got the questions from and With that I'm just going to get into them and hopefully they're not too hard <laughs> So it says uh, number one is birthday cake a book with a plot that seems cliche, but you adore it anyway I was trying to think of something like that but I'm just not really sure uh, like off the top of my head um, cliche I mean a lot of romances to me are a bit cliche but you know I still love my romances I know how they're gonna go I'm I'm going to go with like maybe the crew of hunter series it's very formulaic it does have uh, I think some cliches in it it's got you know kind of the basic stuff that's always in it but it's a comfort read so I always come back to them every time I want something you know comfortable to read it's just they're just fun so I'm just number two is um, party guest it says your most anticipated book release this year that's really really hard um, there's been some some really good ones that's coming out I'm going to go with maybe some books that are coming out um, after the, in the latter part here of the year, um, I'm really looking forward to, I think it's called The Secret of Bow Lane by Jennifer Ashley. It is the next book in the uh, Cat Holloway series. I, I really love that one. And I also have to mention um, Peanut Butter Panic by Amanda Flowers, which is the next book in the candy shop, Amish Candy Shop series. It's cozy. Love my cozies. So I number to... three is a birthday present, a book that surprised you on how much you love it. Loved it. Oh, I'm gonna go with the my favorite book of the year so far. So everybody knows what I'm gonna put up, but it just that's the one that popped into my head. So years from Lavelle Spencer. I actually kind of went into this thinking I'd probably give it like a three star, and ended up giving it five stars. So yeah, that one was very surprising for me. And no surprise to you guys. <laughs> then number four is Happy Birthday Song. A book that certainly deserved all the hype it got. I I try to stay away from hyped books. I, I If I do read them, it's like after the hype. But I do know that this book has a lot... There's you know, a lot of people really like it. Or there's the ones that don't like it. Lee, I'm, I'm looking at you. <laughs> And so I absolutely love this one. And so I'm going to go with A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I do think it's gotten kind of a, a pickup now that it has the, the TV show. And a lot of people have been reading it a lot. And there are a lot of people like it. And I absolutely love it. And I know my friend did not see what the hype was about it. But I think it's worth everything because I love it. The next one, number five, is Happy Music. And it says, a book with some very beautiful and truly memorable quotes. I don't normally remember quotes. I don't write any quotes down. I don't do anything. But I did go and look up one of my favorite series. And I looked at the first one. And I just thought this was a fun quote. So I'm going to give it to you. And this is from A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn. Which is the first book in the Veronica Speedwell series. Which I absolutely love. And it's historical. And this is just fun. It says... I abhor weakness of any kind, but most particularly, particularly in my tea. <laughs> don't, don't give her some weak tea. But I thought that was kind of funny. She, don't, she doesn't like weakness, but especially in her tea. So I just thought that was kind of fun. And yeah, so next one is uh, getting older. Something that I'm not looking forward to. I don't want to get older. <laughs> <laughs> a book that you read a long time ago, but you think that you would appreciate it more if you read it as a more mature reader. And I didn't really have an answer for this one because 
I don't think any of the books that I read when I was younger that I, I, I don't think I would look at them all that much differently than I do now. I didn't read classics back then. Um, you know, like I know a lot of people read like, you know, To Kill a Mockingbird and Catch-22 and all this, but I never read any of those, so I couldn't read them again and, and get a different take on them because, I mean, I, I read basically, whenever I was a teenager, I read Stephen King, and I don't think I really look at Stephen King's books any different now than I did back then. <laughs> Except for the fact that I do think he's long-winded, and I didn't really think that whenever I was younger, but <laughs> I don't think that's necessarily what this question's supposed to be about. And so the next one is number seven, and the last one, I believe, and it's Sweet Birthday Memories, a book that kept you incredibly happy during sad or demanding period of your life, and didn't really have just like a book for that or anything. I'm gonna go with the genre, and I, when I'm really, really sad, or things like that, or things are difficult, a cozy. I'll pick a cozy. They're just, you know, they're just really comforting, and a lot of fun. I love mysteries, and these mysteries, they don't got anything really hard in them. They're not gritty. They're not any, like, of the other mysteries that I read. These are just very whimsical and sweet and kind of fun and so yeah that's what these were two that I had offhand that I could just grab <laughs> so I'm just saying cozy and I think that is the last so that is the last question this was really short I like that and kind of fun to answer and it's kind of fun to have a birthday tag and so if you have a birthday coming up and you want to do this tag go for it I'm not tagging anybody I think it's just one of those tags that you do it whenever it's your birthday month if you want to do it or on your birthday. So go do that and if you have, maybe you want to answer the questions, feel free to do that down in the comments. I always love to see other people's answers to these questions. And yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all next video. Bye.